Hi everyone, and welcome back to BS Rambles. By now, all of you have probably seen Garrosh's spotlight, his abilities, and his talents, and I'm definitely going to be making a video about the talent path that I'm going to be taking, but first I want to talk about Garrosh as a whole. I was extremely excited for this release. As someone who came to Heroes of the Storm from a World of Warcraft background, he's on my Mount Rushmore of badass video game characters. In the last video, I did some speculation on some of the things that I thought Blizzard might include in his kit. I drew from his personality, some important events in his life, and what class archetype he fit into in the Warcraft universe, which I had identified as an arms warrior. Now, if you saw that video, you also know by now that I was way off, way off. First of all, I want to say he looks like he's going to be a great addition to the game. I really like that we've been given a new solo tank because it's been ages since we got a new one. I think the last one was Johanna. His abilities look fun to use and they're going to offer some cool and unique ways to be a playmaker on your team. Pitching enemies around looks like a lot of fun and I'm sure that pitching teammates around will never get abused. So as an addition to Heroes of the Storm, I love what Blizzard has done. They're looking at what roles the game needs and finding ways to fit heroes into those roles. But that methodology is not without a cost. I think that's why Stukov is a healer and I think that's why Garrosh is a main tank. Blizzard is trying to cultivate their own esports scene and turn Heroes of the Storm into a real competitive game, which is fine. It keeps the game fun, but again, it's not without a cost, and I think Garrosh is one of those costs. I'm watching this reveal video, and aside from the cutscenes that they've taken from World of Warcraft cinematics and the model itself, I'm struggling to find a single thing that will make playing Garrosh actually feel like Garrosh. I mean, he's using mana for God's sakes. How does that even remotely fit his character? And yes, a couple of his abilities vaguely resemble some WoW warrior abilities like Shockwave, which is based on the Prot warrior ability, and Taunt, but these really have no relationship to Garrosh himself. I feel like Blizzard needed to add a new tank to the game, and they were like, well, this red bald guy is big and muscly, and why don't we just make him the next tank? I honestly think they did the same thing with Stukov, where they said, we need a new main healer in the game. Someone that can't be mistaken as anything but a healer will give him massive output. People like Stukov, let's wedge it into him. When Here's the Storm was first made, it was meant to be the swan song to the amazing universes, rich lore, and multi-dimensional characters that Blizzard had created, and I just don't feel that in the last couple of hero releases. And I really hope going forward they do a better job of giving you the feeling of playing the characters that we've grown to know over their story arcs. A great example of this is Thrall, Jaina, or Gul'dan, where I really feel like they did a good job of making their gameplay give you the feeling for what the character is like and what they would feel like if you were controlling them in a battle. And I think that's going to do it for whining today. To be clear, I'm still excited to play Garrosh, and like I said, his moveset does look really fun, and he's going to fit really well into the game with his kit. I'm looking forward to theorycrafting some builds in the next few days, so you probably won't hear me whine about this anymore. I'm ready to get excited about it. And all this stuff is so subjective anyways, most of my anger is probably coming from my speculations being so wrong, and it does suck to be wrong, like I said. Uh, I'm also a little bit disappointed that I'll never get to see the Makara Ultimate that I came up with see play. I guess I can always hope for Gromash. So as always, everyone, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and of course, have a great week. Goodbye.